couple tips and tricks on putting a Can Am uh, Outlander 450 uh, winch on. It's a 3,500 winch, 3,500 pound. Here are some tricks to this, all right? So what I've done is, if you have a trailer already, because you probably haul your Can Am uh, on a trailer, so what I did was I put my 450 Outlander on the trailer first, okay? So then what I did is I set the jack up on here and jacked it up so I could take the right front wheel off, which you'll need to do, which you should, it makes it much easier. And yes, I do have a jack stand underneath there. I just kept the jack under it, so it'd be a little bit safer. All right, so a lot of times they tell you to start taking panels off. Uh, the inner panel here, the inner fender well panel comes off, then also that side panel is supposed to come off. Uh, what I did is I went ahead and before I took the wheel off, I went ahead and put my fair lead on first. I ran my cable through, all the way through, and ran it through my, ran it through my fair lead here. Uh, sometimes you have to pull one of these off to get this through, but mine didn't. It came through before, before I put the hook on it. It was able to go through it. Sometimes it doesn't work, sometimes it does, I'm not sure why. All right, but I got it through the fair lead without, uh, without having to take one of these rollers off. All right, as you see, I put the two bolts in here and we're good to go there. So then I attach my two wires. You need to let them run uh, straight up off of, the, off of the winch motor here. You're gonna slide your winch motor in from the left is the easiest way to go. And then you put your four bolts in, and these just thread right into the winch uh, motor itself, as you can see here. <clears throat> what I like to do is I like to put some plastic covering on my on my wiring down here. If you don't have that, doesn't matter. Doesn't make a whole lot of difference necessarily. I just like to have it. I think it's nice. It'll keep it from rubbing from anything. And then I'm going to run it up here on. I'm gonna probably run it up underneath here and hook it, hook a tie strap to that one, okay? And then run it up as far as I can go. And then I have to uh, put my solenoid on right here. <clears throat> now there's a couple solenoids to go with this. This is the 450 without power steering. So this bracket goes on to the, goes on to the shock absorber mount. So you actually take that nut off and then you get a new nut with it. But then there's also a bolt down in here. I don't know if you can see it very well right there. That is a threaded bolt. Um, and then what I do is start that one first, get it in there decently. Okay, and I'll have that on there, of course. And then, I'm, then I'll get that all the way tightened down and then I'll put my nut on and tighten that up. What I'm gonna do now is put one screw in here before I put my solenoid. Before I put my solenoid on, so I'll have one screw in here and I'll slide it up on there and then I'll put my other screw there. Okay, so I'm gonna have my solenoid sitting upright and then I'll run my, I'm gonna put my wires on first and then I'll put, I'll set it up in there. <clears throat> so one of the good things about having this on the trailer, of course, is the fact that I've got it up nice and high. Um, I still have to jack it up to take the wheel off, but Sit it on the trailer, it's much easier to work on. I can kind of stand up and work on it and not have to worry about crawling underneath it so much. So I thought it was a really good, good uh, hint to do, uh, kind of a hack there. So when you're doing this, what I do is I go ahead, I went ahead and put the winch motor on the front here, of course, and got all this done before I took my wheel off, just because I wanted it to be stable while I was doing all that. Then I immediately take the wheel off so I can pull this out makes it much easier so this sets up right in here of course back up in there all right that wheel off makes it gonna, it's gonna be much easier to get that inner fender well out of there all all you do is take out the clips you've probably seen these four on can-am just pull the clips out bunch of and then there is a also a tie strap that ties to your um, to your radiator hose there, right there, to keep keep everything in line. Okay, so then of course we took the side panel off. It just is, it is just held on with clips, except there is one, one spot up here where there's a little screw that you gotta take out. 
before you pull that. You can see it right here. We go one little screw right there. You got to take out. That's the only screw. Then the rest of it has some clips on it. You can just slide it out of here and pop it out from there. All right. So what I'm doing now is running my uh, my power lines to my solenoid, which I'm getting ready, and then it also goes to a circuit breaker. So I'm setting up my circuit breaker. I'm gonna put each each uh, wire on each side, and then we'll put this over it, and then it'll all be encased in there. And then we're gonna run it up up into here. And then if you can see, there's a little hole right here that the positive side comes out of. Before, what I've done is I've actually run the positive through here as well. And then I run it through here and then hook it on. Um, I'm thinking that's pretty tight on the last one I did. So I'm probably not gonna run it through there this time, even though I like it up here because it's clean. It's, it's Otherwise it's gonna be down under here, up in here where it gets all the dirt. But it's just a, a big cable. I don't think it's a big deal. I'm just gonna run it down under and come back out through that that hole right there. That being so tight, that starts rubbing too much together. Obviously, I don't want my positive and my negative rubbing against each other. So, um, I have that on one of my others. I put a winch on my other Can-Am, which has power steering, and I did run it that way. It's been okay so far, but I may change it on this one and just run it easy. And it's gonna be a lot easier for me probably just to run it through there anyway and not try to come up through that part so a little bit tougher to do that okay so one thing to do is i like to put this all together i like to put the circuit breaker all together first and then i'm going to slide it then i'm going to slide everything up into here that way the circuit breakers together all right also i'm going to put my wiring on this side coming from the battery i'm going to put it on my solenoid before i put it up in there and then i'll run my wires from the uh, from the winch motor up and behind here, and then I'll hook onto the solenoid there. All right, now you see these wires here; these are coming from the switch. So a couple of tricks about those wires. So let's come on up and look at that. <clears throat> so another hack here. There is a uh, big, I won't say big, it is a bracket, this bracket here, it actually goes on to your steering, your steering uh, bar, and then, it, and then you come over here and then you hook on your switch. What I do is I just take the one bolt out of the uh, handlebar, as you can see the, the whole brake assembly and everything is held on by that. I'll just take that one bolt out there and then I just drill a hole into this a little bit bigger so that bolt will go through it okay and then I just put my switch right there and it works great it's really stable I don't have this big bracket sitting on there plus I have my I added the uh, the hand guards onto this one like the XT uh, models have and even though it says dynamic power steering it does not have that but I put this on here so it's a little bit harder to get that bracket up on there anyway. So another hack, just pull that bolt out. You have to drill the, the bracket out just a little bit bigger to get that bolt to fit, okay? So what I did is I ran the wires down in between here so it fits real nice. As you can see that wiring, I had to loosen this up, take it off, uh, pull it up just a little bit to get it down through there. And then what we did is there's a big tie strap here that's kind of loose. It just kind of holds things together. I'm going to go ahead and tie strap that to that line there, which I believe is the brake line. Then we ran that through there. Of course, you have to take these covers off, which are pretty easy to do. They just snap on and off. So I ran that down through the steering shaft area down under here. And then you see there is like a dummy uh, a dummy connector there so what happened was this was connected this was connected into that white connector but you obviously get a new connector for your winch switch so I connected in there and then they give you an extra connector in case you have something else you want to plug in for keyed uh, keyed battery switch here all right 
in case you have heated grips or something like that and you want to add heated grips, there's an extra connector with this wiring system. What I did was I didn't pull anything else off and I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's hard to tell here. <clears throat> All right, so there is, right there is the line going down, the two wires going down to the solenoid. All right, if you're lucky enough, you can see that it goes right in between, kind of in between the coolant bottle. So there's a little gap right there underneath the coolant bottle, and you can actually fish this through there. You might need a screwdriver or something to help push it down in there, but it will slide down in there and it'll go right to where you need it to be down to the solenoid area. All right, you can see that a little bit better there. It's kind of hard to show that. So we've got our switch, switch on, ready to go. All right, and by the way, if you do not have a mirror for yours, this is pretty handy, especially if you ride with a lot of people. Uh, it's so nice to know what's going on behind you and make sure your partner behind you is still with you. you just gotta watch it, make sure you don't knock off, knock it off in the trees. So we'll come on back down here. So basically I'm getting ready to put my solenoid in. You can see these are the wires that came down from up top there. All right, we're gonna plug those into the solenoid and we'll have run these wires here to the solenoid. And then we'll have the other two, the black and the red. We'll come up to the solenoid as well. And then we'll get finished up here. So, all right. So, a couple good ideas here, of course, putting it on the trailer, much easier to work on, okay? And as you can see, I hooked it to my truck so the trailer wouldn't go anywhere, but much nicer to work with instead of sitting down on the floor, laying on the floor and trying to get everything done, all right? So that's it for now. We'll come back and see how it finishes out.